That's one of my biggest complaints, too. Jesus, I mean, come on. I want to build an empire that looks like this, but then it come to find out half that part of the country is just cut off and I'll never be able to get it. Yep. Like, fuck Even you, you, you can't like, have it. In Rome Total War, if you build, like, the literal Roman Empire, there's only, like, a sliver of land in the north that's, like, not controlled by you, and it's like, well, fuck, that's it, the game's over then. So, of course, that game cheats where there's just endless fucking hordes of barbarians, even if you slaughter them by the thousands. That's okay, because it has a pretty cool Lord of the Rings mod. Uh, which which one? Rome? Uh, or... Was it Medieval Total War or was it Rome? Medieval 2 has a really good that's Lord of the, the Rings one. mod. Rome Total War has a Lord of the Rings mod. That's okay. It's I, Medieval I it. 2. Medieval 2 has a really good one, but Rome has one too that's alright. You have to get the Alexander expansion, though. Uh, that one I got really annoyed with because I kill. I ended up finding Frodo and I killed him <laughs> as Mordor. So I yeah. got the ring and I took it back to uh, Barad-dor. And I, the Nazgul that had it was just sitting there forever. And, it, and I was like, what the fuck? Give the fucking ring back. And it's like, oh, you actually have to drag the ring over to Sauron. I'm like, oh, I didn't fucking know that. <laughs> okay, so guys. I finally, drag, I... I finally drag it over. And what? Work what? For it. A nationalist movement? What? A nationalist movement Magnesia, right here, wants to secede from the Ottoman Empire and be a part of me. If I accept it, then I'll end up at war with the Ottomans. Well, fuck the Ottomans. Just take it? Yes. Alright. Welcome home, fellow Greeks. You are among friends here. Build up a horde of Spartans and go conquer them all. I already got my... Spartans. Here we go. Drink their milkshakes, Nick. I got my Spartans right here. Oh, cool. I got some free... Uh, regiments in this region now, too. Ottoman Didn't Empires. Think there were enough Greeks still living in that region of Turkey to actually. Oh, uh, wait, I'm not at war? Seed. Okay. Well, in this game, though, they kind of changed it a bit where things like that can kind of happen. They threatened you war, but did they follow through with it? Nope. I don't Those even. Fancies. I don't even think they really threatened. Actually, I think you. there could be an option in the um, <clears throat> in the game for a nation with that situation. It's just in my past experiences, it's always resulted in war, but now it I'm hasn't. Ancient. Anatolia was covered with Greek, but Greeks, but I mean, come on, nowadays, just like, not really. Turkey kind of kicked them out, but, eh. Greece's GDP, though. What GDP? Exactly. <laughs> They're falling apart. Well, every game I've, I've seen so far, the Ottomans just fucking fall apart. And yet everyone... Who has like everyone has like a country who they just suck their dick throughout history because they're like, oh man, this empire was the greatest. Man, if they just survived a couple more years, all of our problems would be milk and honey. So many people suck the Ottomans off, but if you actually read their history, they barely held themselves together. Yeah, the Ottomans, best... or no, not the Ottomans, the Romans, the Mongols, and a few other people are more deserving than the Ottomans. Well, someone, or yeah, in Total War, had, where the Ottomans' best friends are the Barbary states. <laughs> because that's, worse than the that's kind of, the of what happened. They controlled uh, that Tuva was founded by Russia. Good for you, Tuva. The Tuva in question. Oh, and they're founded a, by Russians. Russia even made them an independent state. How nice of you guys. All God, that red. What's up with all the rebellions? Be honest, what? though, rebellions were a bit.
bit common in this time. We just probably haven't heard of any. A lot of them more so were colonial rebellions and stuff. If you other... Okay, oh, they this? need to fix this. It's supposed to say <laughs> Defender um, Yemeni Kingdom with the Yemeni Kingdom flag or something, nope. but it's just not. Okay, they need to fix that too. Public of China, yeah, Kazakhstan, they risen up. Was this still in the, like, uh, where you're playing at, this still the imperialism age? The ending of the imperialism age. So a little World bit War before the assassination of French Duke. This, in the game right France. now, is one year before I'm that. I'm that. I'm out of it a little bit. Uh, so a year before that, okay. Yeah. And what Carl said, Flans, not French. There's nothing French about him. Ottoman Empire, the current one, the Emirate of Nejd. And they still can't talk right because it's the middle of the night. <laughs> oh, we're past the middle of the night. Middle of the morning, shut up. We're past the daylight. I got no retort for that. So, because the Ottomans are dealing with their little Turkish kingdom problem, you think I should go to war with them now? Take yes. this opportunity? Or should I be yes. more? They're Do weak. not stop until you reach Constantinople. <laughs> that can be arranged. How many forces they got there? One militia, one cav? I can handle That's it. That's it? Yeah, actually. Wipe fact, them all out. I can send my Wipe Spartans over there right freaking now. Wipe, Wipe them out. All of them. We'll go in God. alone for right now. If only Empire War had diplomacy system, it'd be so great. But it doesn't, because reasons. There's only, like, what, two factions? Yeah, like, there isn't really the anything for diplomacy needed. <laughs> The only game I saw that had multiple factions was, uh, or the only mod was fucking Thrawn's Revenge, and everyone was still trying to kill everybody. Well, Chiss are naturally racist, don't you know? Uh, for some, apparently, according to Swotor, they just want to align with the Sith all the time, so I don't know why. Because Thrawn allied with the Empire, and as we all know, the, uh, Sith are... <laughs> oh, shit. This sh the Sith are holy shit? Wow. Uh, <laughs> expel the coming. Turks in Dardania. So Do armies. It. Yes. Fuck them. Alright. Greek becomes they dumb. The Greeks, it's time to expel them. Alright. <laughs> Do it. Time to unload Make Anatolia the Spartans. Greek once more. It shall be so. And then watch 300 happen. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Let me play uh, 300's uh, music. Bong, bong, wow. Bow, 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 bow. Bow, chicka, wow, wow. Fucking 300. You get pissed off that one up, man, who's... All men should look like this, <laughs> right? You get pissed off that one up, man, who's gonna go to this weird golden pit and turn into a god somehow. No rhyme or reason, just does it. I like that scene where Xerxes is basically touching Leonidas in the gayest way possible. <laughs> I can make you warlord of all Greece. Now look at my succulent lips. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to do, man? Seduce me? Maybe. <laughs> Don't you find me beautiful? And the I'm sure dead Xerxes is like, well, fuck you. In partial there fulfillment of the Megali idea, or the great idea, that has animated Greek foreign policy since the middle of the last century, Greek forces have occupied Constantinople, the ancient capital of Byzantium. The Greek world has extracted You mean vengeance. Byzantine? Byzantium, it says so right here, visitor. Can't you read? No, I don't have my okay. glasses on. Okay. By anyway. Byzantium was another word. The Greek world has extracted vengeance for the hundreds of years it spent under the Turkish yoke. 
Bear Glaze, Bitches get old. War. Uh, said, yeah. All right. Fuck it, Ottomans. You did it. Now you'll have to move your capital to the middle of bumfuck mountains. Uh, yeah, let's see where the capital is. Um, All the right way here. over there. Homs in Syria, which is about... Homs? Sure. H-O-M-S, how do you pronounce it? I don't know. No, it is Homs, but I'm just like... Oh, yeah. Homs in real life looks like a piece of shit right now. Well, that much is obvious. They're under but, the protection uh... of Sherlock. <laughs> and they don't got anywhere else to go, because... Okay, so they, they got the Kingdom of Turkey taking them out right here. And then Nej is just going all out on these guys. They've even taken Southern Iraq right here. So, they got that going for them, I suppose. And then there's me... Just being amazing, I guess. <laughs> the Ottomans kind of got ripped apart by everyone. Oh my! <laughs> God. Tulu. Greeks have extended territorial claims on historic Greek areas of Asia Minor. Make claims on. Yeah, do it. Uh, now let's see what you my claims You basically control are. all the coastal regions you had in mind. That is true. I do have those claims now. Uh... <laughs> I'm sure, though, the politicians are alive right now going, They're claiming territory that hasn't been theirs in over a thousand years! <laughs> <laughs> well, after Troy, it's time for one hell of a comeback. Yeah, it's like, we claim all the regions Troy own. What the fuck do you mean? It's ours, damn it. Expel Everything the Turks from Magnesia. Yes. Uh, expel yes. the Turks from Rumeli. Yes. Okay, do it. Like yep, I'm... yep, we're uh, kicking everybody out. All right. <laughs> yep. You, fuck them. They deserve that. They had it coming. It just gives the Kingdom of Turkey more exiles to put to war. Yeah, against uh nothing, I guess. Emirin Nej accepts status quo. Ottomans well, are from the Ottomans have been ripped yet. apart. Do it. Expel Dardania. And what now I took the... that place, so now I can just claim uh. <clears throat> I guess Germany won't have the armament to help them in the war. I guess Germany ain't having its uh, Berlin Baghdad railway. <laughs> Kingdom of Iraq founded the Credit and Pence the Ottoman Empire. Oh shit! Persia just declared war in Iraq. <laughs> we preemptively will stop Saddam's rise. Who? Don't stop. Don't worry about it. Just. Go with it. All right, offer peace. Woohoo! The day is mine. God, the Ottomans just got raped. <laughs> <laughs> Ottomans, Ottoman, are they even a country Ottomans. anymore? <laughs> oh man. What's an Ottoman? I don't see any more Ottomans. <laughs> Kingdom of Iraq accepted peace. Oh. Alright, so yes. we're extending our claims. Me. What are you gonna soon claim everything Alexander once owned to? Yes. Yes. Well, claim it. Claiming and taking are two separate things. If I were to <laughs> take it, I would kind of be stepping on Britain's toes. And that would not be good for my health at this moment. In Maybe Britain, when they're we weak. Maybe we'll have Britain Austria take Scotland again, and then all will be good. What's Britain gonna do? Sail all the way over there, fight you? So. What's Britain gonna do? Try and land on uh, what's it called? Normandy. Gallipoli. Gallipoli. Oh yeah, Gallipoli. Oh yeah, that didn't work out so well. 
Oh yeah, let's see him try it. <clears throat> well then, ain't that something, folks? We just took a whole bunch of shit. Aren't we special? Oh sure, Montenegro. Here's one gold. Expel him. Yes. Expel him. Get the fuck out of here. GTFO <laughs> noobs. You so you get your the scrub job. lords. Hey, All you right. All the Turks. You leave only the Christian minority, and you put the minorities in power, and powers your base. So he's been renamed Constantinople. So yes! mission accomplished. Yes. 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 I don't give a shit. I, st I still call it Constantinople today. I don't call it fucking stupid ass Istanbul. This is delicious. First of all, Constantinople is just such a refined name. It's a cool name. But Istanbul, it's like, but Istanbul shit. Istan's bull is going to get you. A guy <laughs> named Istan anything? and he has a bull. I think the leader of Greece must make a speech about how there's ethnic Greeks in Cyprus being abused. <laughs> they gotta take it back. Well, Turkey did invade it. Back in like the... How is I read, the Ottoman back Empire like... still alive? Apparently they're nothing but Palestine right now. Get the fuck out! Uh, yeah, and... What happened? They're still at war with Yemen, but they made peace with the kingdom and Nejd and Iraq, so... We might as well go invade them, kick them fully out, they took your if land. Greece is gonna start reclaiming all fucking old Greek colonies from the fucking ancient Bronze Times, they'll have to take territory in Spain, Italy, North Africa, and parts of um, the Crimea. <laughs> they might as well take it all. Take it all back, Nick. Don't stop until the world is overrun by Spartans. Fuck. Spartans, throw away your bad babies off this ridge. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Cause because we ugly. said so. Fuck you. It's called healthcare. Fuck you. We don't have it. We only have democracy. Well, guess what then, Spartans? We're gonna start a protest. <laughs> and then we're gonna form a committee. I'm not a committee! No, oh my fucking Oh god. shit! Persia what? just got... owned? They just accepted peace with Iraq, uh, status quo, and Iraq gained all this. What the fuck? And now Afghanistan's invading! <laughs> <laughs> This... All I can imagine is just like a bunch of random people like jumping in front of other people and giving them all the finger. <laughs> As you just like take stuff. <laughs> it's like, okay, the Ottomans kind of exist in name only for the most part. Persia, I don't even know what's going on anymore. Afghanistan became a theocracy at some point and now they created of the kingdom of did. Kashmir State. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, that's right. They're going into British India right now. What? <laughs> They're about to. They've already taken um these areas of Balochistan and so on. This area there, right here. Wasn't that, there something weird where like India was like moving out and like uh Persia was moving in type thing that was happening somewhere? You might think of something else. You're probably thinking well, something else. I don't even... Like, I know it happened around like a little bit around India, where uh, I believe Hindus were like moving out and moving to where uh, Persia was, and like everyone that was in Persia was like moving towards India. Uh, I don't know. It probably is something different, but it's just a real quick question. Migrations of people, like I know that people who are ethnically German today, and where Germany is, were actually in where Russia was, and the people who are ethnically Russian in Russia were where Germany was. 
So if they would have stayed where they were, Russia would actually be Germany, and Germany would actually be Russia. Well, that's interesting. We'd have a ginormous Germany instead of a ginormous Russia. <laughs> Could only you imagine. Do you think Hitler would have been happy having all that territory? <laughs> Me, I would have. Fuck it. I mean, it's a world at that point. I don't know, you already control literally a third of it. <laughs> so now let's see if the Kingdom of Turkey can deal with all their rebels. It's funny, because he originally had to deal with Stalin, then he backstepped Stalin, and Stalin kind of slapped the shit out of him when winter came by. Kingdom of Uzbekistan. <laughs> Uzbekistan's gonna get raped. <laughs> yeah, they only spawned in in one region right here. Fergana. They, they, Tashkent, they got nothing. They'll go down. But man, these rebels in Arabia. All those the, rebel spots. Dealing a blow like that to the Ottomans it sure didn't do well to the stability of Asia Minor. Oh well, at least I got my lands back. <laughs> What if America has civil war while that was going on? Civil well, war part two. You don't you don't have any partisans because you already expelled all the people who would probably rise up. You know what's <laughs> funny, visitor? You mentioned what? that, but oh, if God. American stability goes down low enough, which is a very very rare occurrence, like Germany has to basically beat them and possibly even invade them, but the CSA can rise again in this game. No fucking way. Way. I've I've actually done it before. I purposely um broke America down myself, ruining its economy just to see it happen. Did they bring back slavery too while they're at it? I don't know. <laughs> but I know they bring the uh nation state of the CSA back. So Hey, guess what? We have new reasons to go to war with ourselves again. Yay! Ah, the kingdom of Assyria. The oh, fuck? Orthodox. What is, the, what is the capital of Assyria? Uh, Alhasaka. Alhasaka. That's the capital of Assyria. <laughs> Bitches. Fucking invade it. I can't. They're landlocked. I'd have to go through the Kingdom of Turkey. I've done enough Fucking wars to right what the now. Hell? Fucking invade it all. Take them all over. Kill them all down like the peasants they are. Uh, <laughs> Kingdom of Tajikistan. Yeah, obviously I'd be the greatest general ever. Did you try yeah. shooting the enemy? No. Yes, it's sir? like the, the Battlefront 2 commander. <laughs> You have to fight hard to win. Oh, Thanks a lot, really? Genius. Well, shit. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot, Sun Tzu. Might as well, <laughs> might as well tell me the sky is blue. The sky is blue. That's like saying no. the lightsaber is a weapon of a Jedi. No, some places the sky is dark and red because of lava. The sky yeah. is green on Felucia. <laughs> It was great evolution, what the hell? Don't you like how in the Force Unleashed 1 game, when you're on Felucia, they go out of their way to go, Hey, a Clone Wars battle happened here. No shit. You know, the down ATTE and still somehow dead clone bodies make it quite clear to me that a battle happened here. Nah. That's just your imagination. You too much of the Felucian plants. Felucia wow, man. Oh god, did you see what the Felucians, according to the Clone Wars, look like? Uh, shit. Those little pygmy motherfuckers? <laughs> yeah. I mean, the Felucians from the Force Unleashed had more dignity than whatever the fuck those things are. Wait a minute. At least the, the Force Unleashed ones, they rode fucking Rancors. So, we have the Kingdom of Abyssinia now, who are a theocracy. And then we have... Old Abyssinia in Somalia. That makes sense. And they're not at war either with each other for control, so... Exile government? What? How are they working together? 
I assume they're not. I assume they have no diplomatic relations with each other. You know, every time I see like something like that, I always think of, that's the one emo kid who's like cutting himself. <laughs> I don't know why. Turkish kingdom. Oh, I just established relations. Why did I establish relations with you guys? Probably wasn't paying attention. Thought it meant the kingdom of Turkey, but nope. I could have sworn the Ottomans were over there somewhere. Not over anymore. There, over there. Lick them over there. I guess the Upton died. Just about. As soon as they lose uh, Palestine over here, then that's uh, curtains for the Ottoman nation. Palestine was originally controlled by Muslims, correct, or was it by the Jews? If you want to get real technical, the region of Palestine was controlled by, uh... I don't know what you want to say, Canaanites? Which are just basically a name for people from Asia Minor, and then... Then the Jews came. Well, the Egyptians kind of owned it, then the Jews came, and they expelled everyone, they took it over. So if you, if so, you really want to get, if you want to get real technical, who owned that land, and who has the most ancient claim to it, it's probably the Jews. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at here, Republic of Armenia. All right, so the Ottomans have been shrunk down to one region. And I think I know why I haven't been able to form Byzantine Empire yet. You know, I probably said this before, but why don't we have a Sith pirate? A Sith pirate? Yeah, like a Sith is like, fuck it, I don't want to come to Galaxy or any bullshit like that. I just want to be a pirate. Well, I don't know. Maybe because all Sith are way too ambitious. Wait, oh. Damn it, Bulgaria. Just once. Just one time. One more time. Okay. Is it worth going to war with the Balkan League to take Thrace from Bulgaria? Well, well it's not League. complete Greece without Thrace, so I'd fuck have, them. I'd have to declare war on Bulgaria, Serbia, Montenegro. Not Al yet. Albania is my puppet so I think I could pull them out of the alliance so it'd just be those three states oh then maybe if it's just three then possibly I'd say build up your forces a little bit and then go for it yeah that sounds like it could be a good idea Get yeah, fresh recruits from first. the new territories of Anatolia. Yes. More men for the rush the motherfuckers. Hey, now that Ottomans don't exist anymore, at least there's not going to be any Armenian genocide. Wouldn't even be possible now, now that Armenia is their own state. So... Good for even, them. <laughs> even if the Ottomans did have more than they're still in homes, so... Watch the Ottomans rise somehow. Yeah, yeah some... sure. The Turks of today are such crybabies, they don't want to admit that fucking genocide happened. It's like, even the, the Nazis had to admit genocide happened, I mean, come on. They got all bummer uh, too, with the French, when the French recognized uh, the Armenian genocide. What was it? Uh, if I recall correctly, then Auschwitz is still... Well, it doesn't work anymore, it's still been built. No, it's still there in Poland, yeah. They King never tore it now, and it's still there. You can It's, it's a museum now. Hmm. Kingdom of Syria annexed the Ottoman Empire. What? Nice. That's it for them, they took their uh, last region. Afghani Kingdom, so... Well, it turns out the Ottomans are complete and told bitches. So, 
Who's this other king, Afghani kingdom? So now they're at war with the British too. But these guys are. So Britain's at war with the Afghans. Period. Both Afghan like states. Afghanistan. For reasons. Look at Afghan. Afghanistan ended. <laughs> Look at Afghan and his damn planes. Damn Too soon. Took my job. You know, I keep saying one of the jokes, and like someone literally looked at me and said, People died during that. I was like, Yeah, people die all the time. Shit happens. That is true. <laughs> Like, honestly, if I were to die, only people that know me would probably, like, at least shed a tear. If not, then they'll just feel bad. Otherwise, the world itself, honestly, wouldn't give a fuck. Well, well, shit. <laughs> How many people in Africa I, die all the time and no one gives a shit? If I killed over tomorrow, there'd be, like, maybe two people who gave a shit. Everyone else wouldn't. I would care. Cause then who's gonna strangle Mysterious for me? Who's <laughs> gonna strangle Mysterious? I don't know, just go around the deep web. I'm sure you'll find a, uh, a website that wants your credit card information as long as you want to assassin. Okay. Call up Billy Bob worry. Jones. I don't steal credit cards on Sundays. Maybe I can call up the Ottman, so wait. That would be a problem. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Now we finally got it. <laughs> yes. Do it. Store Byzantium or... No, the Kingdom of Greece. Fuck it. Go the Byzantine Empire rises once more. Though I wish we get a flag change. Nope. I don't know. Maybe it's Fuck just you. No, 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 no. Byzantine Empire. The Byzantine Empire expel, lives once again. Expel all the Arabs. Expel the Muslims. We are crazy Orthodox. Kill all everyone. <laughs> We're so Orthodox that we want to murder all the Catholics again too. <laughs> Make it so. The Italians are like, whoa, buddy. Oh man, freak out some more, dude. Damn! I cut my own face off because I'm orthodox. Take Wait. that, Joker! Alright. Wish there was an option uh, for, hey, Italy, you have my stuff now, give it to me. 